the ancestor, the fourth great grandfather of Nabi Muhammad, his name was Qusay. And this was a very important man in the change of the landscape of Arabia once again, because this was the handing of power from Khuza'a to Bani Ismail, to the descendants of Ismail. Husay, some would say he was a saint or a prophet. Now, it's important to know this family lineage because a lot of history begins to make sense once you know the story that we're about to tell of Quraysh. Everything revolves around Quraysh. It's impossible to understand the story of Islam and the life of Prophet Muhammad without understanding Quraysh. So this family tree, which begins with Qusay, who began the shift of power to Bani Ismail, Qusay's son was Abd Manaf. And Abd Manaf had Hashim and Abd Shams. Now, this is where the family tree split up. Hashim had Abdul Muttalib, who had Abdullah, who had Prophet Muhammad And of Prophet Muhammad's grandchildren were Al-Hassan and Al-Hussein, of course, their father being Imam Ali السلام, also from the Bani Hashim tribe. On the other side, from Abd Shams, you had his son Umayyah, and this is where Bani Umayyah comes from. And then you understand the distinction between Bani Umayyah and Hashim. And Umayyah's son, his name was Harb. And Harb's son was Abu Sufyan. And so Abu Sufyan was the cousin of Prophet Muhammad. And Abu Sufyan's son was Muawiyah. So Muawiyah was the cousin of Imam Ali. And Muawiyah's son was Yazid. And so Yazid was the cousin of Al-Hassan wal Hussein. And so you begin to understand, as we tell the story of Quraysh, why what occurred actually occurred in Arabian history. In any case, we'll continue with the story of Qusay. Qusay, the fourth great-grandfather of Rasulullah, he married the daughter of the chief of the tribe of Khuza'a. And after that chief died, Qusay inherited the keys to the Kaaba. And for the first time in their history, the descendants of Ismail had the keys to the Kaaba, which means they had the opportunity now to be the rulers of Mecca. And the first thing that Qusay did was take the whole clan of Bani Ismail and allow them to live around the Kaaba. In the beginning, no one would live around the Kaaba out of respect. This time, he brought them around the Kaaba. And in Arabic, the word Taqrish means a gathering. And so this is where the word Quraysh came from. The name Quraysh came from Taqrish because the descendants of Ismail, they lived around the Kaaba. And the descendants of Ismail are Quraysh. Quraysh, which became the most famous and the most important tribe in all of Arabia.